Hey YouTube, what's up? Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badrud Durja and today I am going to solve another lab from SQL injection vulnerability. This is server side vulnerability and I am covering all these labs from Web Security Academy from Port Seager. Uh, this is gonna be lab number 6 and before going to solve this lab, this disclaimer as always for you, this video and its contents are only for educational purpose and I do not support any unethical or illegal act. That's been said. Um, in this lab, we are going to examine the database in SQL injection attack. So examining the database means as I always uh, mentioned this in my approximately all previous videos that uh, before going to execute any exploit on the target, you must have prior knowledge and as much information as you can gather about the target you should do. So enumeration and information gathering is the most important part in penetration testing because as more information you have about the target as much surface attacking surface you may have in previous lab we already know how i can uh, understand how many columns are there uh, returned by the database and how i will check the data type so in this lab we will actually know that which kind of database running in the backend of this application and what is the version of that database server this is very very important because uh, once you once you find out that sql vulnerability sql injection vulnerability exists on the target then you have to execute the queries and those queries depends on the database and its version because there are different different parameters like if you want to if the dit backend database is MySQL or MS SQL means Microsoft SQL, then you can uh, query the version by executing select query with the uh, at the rate at the rate version. If the backend database is Oracle, then you have to execute uh, this parameter in your uh, query. And if the database is PostgreSQL, then you have to find out the version with version and brackets enclosed brackets right <coughs> so i already copy all these things with me so go to the lab so sql injection attack querying the data database type and version on oracle that means on the back end there is oracle server running now we need to find out the data type and version of this oracle server the agenda is this lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. You can use a union attack to retrieve the results from an injected query. So to solve the lab display the database version string. Because we know that the database is Oracle. So we need to use this. But before that I need to find out how many columns are there and the data type of those columns. So without wasting time let's just go. So we are here and we can select the category from here and from this once once I select gift category I can see the result and after this result on this page I can say uh, database is returning two columns one is uh, product name and another one is product description or product details but we have to be sure about it and I will do this. I'm not going to explain again why I put this single quote and why I am going to put these two dashes because I already um, explained this in the previous labs. So as you can see uh, after putting these two comments we are not getting error that means it's vulnerable it may vulnerable to sql injection fine so now i need to find out number of columns so for this i have to use union select null comma null i'm going to put two nulls because as i explained before it could be two columns but as you can see there is internal server error why because the lab itself said that the backend database is oracle so once the backend database is oracle you have to find out uh, anything with from 
and there is a default table in the database oracle database named as dual so uh, to execute any query you must put from and the table name fine so here because we did not put the table name with from so we are not getting any result even if you put uh, hundreds of null you will not get the exact result and that is going to be a problem but you have to try uh, each and every aspects so i put from dual and as i hit enter you can see we got the result so it means two number of valid columns there now i need to check the data type so in single quotes i put aaa hit enter that means as you can see here aaa same like this so the first column is actually product name and the second column is gonna be the product details bbb hit enter so as you can see this is the product name and this is the product detail product name and product detail fine so it, that means both of the column data type is a string now we need to uh, find out which version is running so for version i need to put um if i come here you can see for the oracle i need to put like this select a star from this so i'm going to copy this and come here instead of from dual table i need to put this hit enter and as you can see here there is no result why i show you um instead of both of these if i try a star hit enter and internal server error why because the number of column must be same and the data type of individual column must be same so if i just put a star it means uh, i include all the fields so i'm going to search oracle um data base version query um let's come here and open this okay come to that so as you can see here same like what we have here in uh, web security academy select a star from v version same like this query but the problem is uh, the database in the genuine query database is returning two columns that means i have to put two columns okay um here if i try instead of a instead of a if i try a star on the first column hit enter and still internal server error because this star means everything so come here we can come here we can try banner this parameter right and where we can try this parameter instead of a i can say banner hit enter and we solve the lab so on the first column i put banner on the second column i put as it is b that means number of columns from the genuine query and from my query number of columns are same and the data type is also same fine so instead of a now you can see we have uh, oracle core 11.2.0.2.0 product and if we come down you can see the version detail this is oracle database 11 g express edition release this for 64 bit production plsql released product uh, production and the version is this and the tns for linux version is this fine so hope you understand and if you have any query you can put your query in the comment section so that's it for this video if you like the content please like subscribe and share see you in the next video bye